Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to TAS Basics. We're just going to take a quick look and see how this system works. So we're going to start by creating a new company. And we can see that we have already the company name on it because that had to be entered when we downloaded the software. And so we'll have a name here of Garland Avenue for the address and with a postcode of PB4588UU will do and we'll go on to the next part which is to put in a dummy telephone number and we can leave all the rest out so no point in putting a dummy email we want a monthly based financial year or we can have a financial year that matches the tax year. Let's choose the one that matches the tax year next and the start date then should be uh, we need to go whoops we need to go back because the start date would be 2012 right so if today was July the 15th 1999 then the current year uh, we do want 2013 now that I think is a bit confusing right but we'll leave that if it's looking for the end of the year here we are this confirms it it's April 2012 to April 2013 next you can see here we are looking at the screens that we're going through on the left hand side here so we're going to leave it at a limited company but we could in fact have had a sole trader then a partnership with various partners what type of business do we want do we want a service one professional or trade do we want a retail one a construction one or a manufacturing one so just out of interest we'll keep it as a retail one when did your company begin trading we will say in 2012 so next we pay VAT based on invoices and credits raised which is standard VAT accounting we don't want cash accounting so yes we do want VAT as a standard VAT accounting so yes so we now need a registration number our reporting periods are going to be monthly uh, the rest of it doesn't apply there how many bank or cash accounts do we wish to set up um, we only wish to set up one at the moment so let's go down to one and enter the name of the bank account so we will call this the current or the checking account yes we want to be able to reconcile that account uh, that's our starting date for the April 2012 we don't want to put an opening balance in and so our statement should in fact show that there is nothing in that right so we say now that there is enough information here to set up the company so I'm going to finish on that and it's going to create my files for me including my bank accounts and now we are ready as we believe to start using basics so there's my company at the moment and it tells me of course I've no money in there and I haven't got any transactions but we have set it up that's setting up of task basics as an account and it's important that we realize that we had to go through a series of stages we used a wizard much as we did in most of the other accounting programs